Good day everyone, welcome to this class, Enterprise Resource Planning. My name is Osho Afalabi and in this lecture one, we'll be discussing on introduction to Enterprise Resource Planning. This project is supervised by Dr. Odedairo B.O. to the Department of Industrial and Production Engineering, University of Ibadan, Nigeria. So, in this lecture, we have the following outlines to cover Enterprise Resource Planning Definition, the function of ERP, ERP software, the type of database ERP works with, then designing ERP, advantages and disadvantages of ERP, as well as some short list of the popular ERP vendors. Now, at the end of this lecture, we expect the students to understand the concept of ERP, the application of ERP, and see the big picture for the database application. So, if anyone may try to ask, what is ERP? In the short form, it means Enterprise Resource Planning. And for the definition, the Enterprise Resource Planning is an integrated system method of in of incorporating a common set of applications to support and manage business activities. So in a short form, the ERP is an integrated software that manages the overall business operation or business process. And for this software to work, I mean to fully implement this software, this software or system must be designed to align properly with the business operation so the software and the business operation should work and demand should align it should it should be in support of the business operation not to take another form of 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 of, of operation that is different from how the business is being run now what is the function of ERP? ERP helps to facilitate the flow of information because in an organization, we have several departments and we have several offices. My own input might be your own output and my own output might be your own input. In fact, I may receive input from multiple sources and send my output to multiple sources as well. So there are informations, the flow of information, flows of material between department to department, between offices to offices. So with the help of ERP, it helps to facilitate a smooth flow of information between all business function inside the organization as well as to manage the connection to the outside stakeholders so we also have the function that includes monitor and control with the help of erp it helps to monitor all the primary resources like manpower machine material method market money that are involved for the smooth running of the business and after doing this, it also helps to track and evaluate the overall business activity for compliance if the business is making profit or not and if there is any shortfall in a particular sector. So after doing this, we can now see, okay, this is the part of the business area that we want to improve because we now have an insight. So after after performing the improvement, after performing the evaluation, and after checking everything, we will use this, this, this information popularly regarded as business intelligence. So we will use this information to improve the efficiency of the enterprise. So this ERP is a system and at the same time it's a software it's a software that mirrors the image of the major business processes of the organization and i keep on saying business process business process before you can design erp or make use of erp you have to understand the business operations the business activities 
and the business process involves a collection of activities that takes some inputs and create an output that is valuable or, or that is of value to the customer because in the long run we want to make sure that we are satisfying our customer and who is our customer our customer does not just really mean a person that won't buy or a person outside the organization so within the organization you may be my customer take for example a warehouse that's that's that issue out parts to the other department the other department are the customer of that warehouse and it goes and the, uh, on and on like that so we have to understand what is the business process how is this business running before we can integrate the whole business operation with the erp software and what type of database does this um, does the erp work with erp works with the enterprise data and the enterprise data can be translational that is any kind of business events maybe like a plan maintenance a schedule maintenance a computerized maintenance or it may be a particular action or a particular transaction so we have the transactional data then we have the analytical data the analytical data are the results that will be entered back into the erp system and with this data we can now perform what we call business analytics business intelligence with this data then we also have the master data the master data are very very uh, are, are very very vital to the business because this refers to the key information of the system of the business it includes the number of assets the business have uh, the number of machine the location like the finances and everything so all these things are the master data the master data may also include the production schedule and all this information are being packed together under the enterprise data of which with the help of erp we helps um with the help of erp all this information will be packed together and the right inform in information or the right database is being accessible to the right person because in an organization obviously everyone won't have access to this to the same type of database so with the help of this erp it helps to filter those assets to some people they only need to record to some people they only need to view to some people they can make edits and it goes like that because we we um because for for each database we have we we have various very various access to the to database why some people at the back end remains the administrator to this database now looking at this we have the application the applications involve the various aspect of the business that means the supply chain management the the hrm the the production the the sales and marketing and every of this data is being part into the master data the master data contains the old business information and and with the help of erp it helps to collect the right data from the right source and give back the right information to those people that means like i've already explained in the previous slide and at the end of everything we want to have a business intelligence that is the analytics part of using the enterprise resource planning so to design erp we need to make a proper plan we have to plan to set up we have to look at okay this particular business we are a business that involved in buying and selling or we are a business that's 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 
that is into production or manufacturing of gadgets we have to plan what aspect of this business that we want to that we want to use erp to integrate and after then we have to design the system designing the system it is more or less like you want to have a pfd the pfd means process flow diagram so you um you first start from a block diagram from block diagram to process flow diagram from um, from process flow diagram you can now move to piping of which the proper information will be given i'm just citing that as an example from the uh, because this kind of design is popular in the oil and gas sector so to design a system to design the system that the erp works with so you have to have a schema and that schema it will it will properly dictate the kind of information to be exchanged between departments the kind of information flow the kind of access applicable to each and every one that has the access to the erp and we have the gap analysis the gap analysis is to check are we giving out the right information to this person does this person have the necessary um, access to this software does this person has all what it takes does this have all the information it require to perform his or her duty effectively and after that we look at the implementation of the software the next slide i'll be showing 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 how the implementation stages work and after then you have to prepare the employees to use the erp that means you have to train them and after training them and after using everything you will keep on seeing some minor minor um, some minor minor errors of which you have to work on to have a better performance to have having a better performance that means we are talking about the improvement so like i've said the erp implementation process goes from planning and organization to to the to the system selection you have to select what particular aspect of the business you want to automate because in some cases the business operation might be a little bit more tedious that it shouldn't be so flexible to automate the overall business processes so you have to select the particular system the particular units you want to automate you want to um you want to automate and you will now integrate it with the erp software then we also have the installation so from the installation after the erp software or system might have been designed the next thing is to install them after after the installation you make sure that all informations are well captured all database are on all information all data are being captured and migrated to the cloud to have that kind of safety and if you don't want to migrate in the cloud you can also have it in house but you have to make sure that you have a full security for those database and the database must be up and running 24 7 so the next thing is to train you test and validate that is you are checking for errors then you have to go live again and if you encounter problem because over time there will be some needs to make some corrections some changes which are very very key to ensure that the business is running smoothly and that is where the ongoing improvement and feedback comes into place now what are the advantages of erp with the erp we can integrate the information among all departments it also helps us to serve our customer efficiently because the erp can work with e-commerce system the erp system can also work with the supply chain with the with the hrm and every of these works together to ensure that our customer is being served efficiently and the next one is with erp we can have more efficient 
for the business process so we can we can we can have a better business performance and after this being said we have improved reporting and planning with the with the help of ERP, ERP we can perform the business analytics to get the business intelligence the data to make upgrade to make decisions to make important forecasting about the business and after this being said we also have some few disadvantages which includes the cost of erp software erp software is usually very very costly even to have the certificates to um the to have the license to train it it may go as high as fifty thousand US dollars just to have the license, not the certificate to even run the program. Certific uh, just a license to train it to to train ERP. And another thing that is very very displeasing is the customization process because the the way this system is being built very robust and very complicated sometimes it makes it very difficult to make customization and another thing is that user participation is a must on the erp system erp system it is not a computer system that performs the activity rather it manage the activity and how is this activity being managed it is being managed by the user participation it is the information you give to this system that helps the others to perform their duties so if the user is not effectively participating or entering the right the right amount of information to the erp system then it puts the whole system into jeopardy because the core mission to to have the automated business process won't be achieved so we have the popular ERP vendors which include Oracle, SAP, Microsoft, the Microsoft one that is the Dynamic 365. We have the Workday, the Sage, the Info, the, Ep the Epico, the Service Now, Quad, and Salesforce. Salesforce they are very popular when it comes to the aspect of CRM. So thank you for this lecture for listening to this lecture and i would like you to take a short quiz in fact there's a short quiz at at the end of this lecture the link is being shown on the on the on the screen so the quiz should last for a period of 15 minutes there about so you should take this quiz this quiz is just to test for your understanding about the 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 whole thing being discussed on today's lecture um on today's lecture so in summary once again let's our uh, um let's let's quickly summarize what we've learned today what we've learned involved the erp system which is which is which is a computer system that helps to manage the overall business activity then we've talked about the type of data ERP works with, which is the which is the enterprise data that includes the transactional, the analytical, and we all have the master data. And to make sure that this system works well, we have to plan properly in the designing stage and make sure that the implementation stage is 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 properly done as well. We also talk about the, the the advantages and disadvantages of this ERP. One of the good advantages of the function of it is that it helps smooth flow of information, and it helps us to manage, to monitor, to track changes, as well as help us to make business decision and improvement. But the bad or the greatest disadvantage that we have here is that ERP system goes for a very very high cost and to make customization to this ERP system it's a bit complicated. 
thank you once again for this lecture have a great day bye